Interactive whiteboards have become very popular. Not only are they popular, they're very expensive. What you'll see today at Newton North is a demonstration of an inexpensive alternative. The first thing you need to do is calibrate the machine. You do that by identifying the four corners of the projection. Dan is just about done with the fourth one and voila, immediately you're able to use the special pen which we'll talk about later as a mouse. Dan is easily able to use the vertical scroll bars, the horizontal scroll bars, play a movie, and do anything else that the mouse would ordinarily do. It's quite simple, and he's just simply pressing a button on the pen. In addition to being able to use the pen as a mouse, you're also able to use it to input text. We're simply selecting a text box inside of Google, putting our search criteria in, and once we hit the return key, it will result in the matches that Google has found for us. In addition to searching text on the internet, you can also go into any program and input text. Right now, we're demonstrating using Microsoft Word to input text. And note, we're using the on-screen keyboard, which is available inside the Mac and the PC. All the functions that are inside of Word are available here, and it's as easy as if you were in front of the, the computer yourself. Not only can you do text, you can use any program that you have on your computer. As you see, we're using a drawing program right now. You're probably wondering, how does it work? Well, the key's in the setup. As you can see right here, there is a computer to the left with a projector, a remote that's located on a tripod, and Dan is holding a special LED infrared pen. The remote's location is key. Right here it's about seven feet away and at a 45 degree angle from the projection. The computer is Bluetooth enabled. In addition, we have special software. It's available on the Mac and the PC. You're seeing the Mac version here that communicates with the Wiimote. There's your standard projector, nothing special about that, but there is something special about the pen. It's made of several components, one being the LED infrared bulb. You'll also need a momentary on-off switch. You'll need some standard wire to connect these parts, and you'll also need a battery. You can see here we've taken apart the pen we used, and you can see each of those components clearly. There's the schematic that talks about how you can build this item yourself, and we've even provided specific part numbers from Radio Shack for you to do that. On the screen, you can see Johnny's website. There you'll find all the links for the software you may need and other interesting projects. This is a great activity for kids to be involved with. They'll find it fascinating as they built it, and then when they're done, both students and teachers will benefit from its use. I hope you enjoyed this. And thank you to Dan, Maddie, and John for help creating this video.